solar tariffs are beginning to come off. And when solar tariffs became coming off, then what we call grid connect solar systems, that is solar systems that feed power back into the grid and the government pays you for that electricity, they are no longer viable. Therefore, the only way you can go ahead with solar from these situations is to actually store the power that your solar is generating and use it when you need it. To do that, you need batteries. And that's why storage is becoming so important in the solar industry. Basically, you, you, you have two options. A lot of people talk about going off the grid. Um, that is that you go into what's called a standalone system. Going off the grid when you have um, a reasonable power supply and with not many blackouts is not a very viable option because of the cost. When you take yourself off the grid, you must have a large backup system, which means you must have much larger batteries and a much bigger system be able to supply you power even when there is no solar in storms, rain, that type of thing. Therefore it makes a lot more sense to do what we call a hybrid system. What a hybrid system does is it allows you to store the power, use it when you want to, therefore you don't have so much reliance on the grid. But then in bad weather situations or in those times where you're not producing enough solar, you simply draw from the grid to support your power. So what you get is the benefits of not relying on the grid with the help and backup of the grid when needed. Hybrid, solution, uh, hybrid solar systems for people that are connected to grid, usually in city situations, um, is the, by far the best option. If you have a reliable power supply, then you don't need to be disconnected from the grid. You, all you do is you use your solar to sustain your power usage during the day and night, and then in those periods when your solar won't give you the power required, you use the grid. It's a far cheaper option, far more reliable option, and uh, much easier to do.